Hello guys, this is Fazan Ashra from Professional Kripa and today we are going to do a very interesting project on IPL. You all must be familiar about Indian Premier League that is IPL. So in this project our main objective would be to perform an exploratory data analysis on the data set of IPL. As a sports analyst, we will find out the most successful team, player and factor contributing the win and loss of a team. We will also suggest the company so that they could invest their money on the best team and player. So at first I've imported all the necessary module for our data set that is NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib, Seabomb and Scikit-learn modules. At second I've imported the data set and have a look through of the column present in my data set. Then using df.head I, I came to the analysis of the rows and column that how what are the columns are present in my data set. Now using df.info using this I came to know about the basic information about the column of my data set that is the data type of each and every column and the total number of rows in that column or the null values in the columns and so on. Here df.describe method is tell us the statistical part of our data set that is count mean std minimum 25% what is the 25% of this particular column, what is the 50% of this particular column and so on. Here df, df core that is the correlation. It does how each and every column are correlated with each other. Now let us see the null values present in our data set. Here df dot is null dot sum. Using this code I came to know about the total number of null values present in each and every column. Here you can see that in city column we have 7 null values while winner has 4 null values, the player of the match has 4 null value, umpire 1 has 2 null value, umpire 2 and 2 null value and so on. Suppose if you like to drop any rows or column according to our wish then we can follow this code. I have commented it because uh, it's not very necessary for us right now to drop any rows although if you wish then you can learn it from this code how to do so here df.shape tell us the number of rows and column of our data set now let us find the total number of matches in our data set now as we know that id increases as 1 2 3 4 so the max id would be the total number of matches so i've done df.it.max which give me the max id that is 1000 11,415 and this is the total number of matches so season we have in our data set so we have done it using df dot season dot unique here dot unique tell us, uh, us go through all the element present in a particular column and pick out the unique element from that column although we have many values of 2017 2008 2009 and similarly for uh, all the air but here it has uniquely picked each and every year and stored it in an array that is 2017 2008 2009 and so on now to find how many season are there then i have used len dot season len is used to find the length and here i have got my output as 12 that is we have put on total 12 series data set now to count the total number of win by a team I use df.winner.value count and here I get output of Mumbai Indians at 109, Chennai Super King as 100, Kolkata Knight Riders as 92 and so on. So we can see that Mumbai Indians has won the maximum number of match in IPL. We can also see this virtually you can see it here. We can, I have plotted a histogram here uh, in a horizontal manner as you can see. And I have plotted it using Seaborn. Here at first I have used dot value count which gives me the total number of matches and sns dot bar plot which is sorry uh, let me correct it not it's not a histogram it's a bar plot and here is the output of my bar plot as you can see that Mumbai Indians bar plot is longest that is they have won the maximum number of matches <coughs> So most number of matches is won by Mumbai Indians. So team who won by maximum run. So let us find out the team who won by maximum run. So here I have used df.win by runs. That is a column name. 
that has been by run and dot max is used to find the maximum element present in that column then i have taken it as a condition i have printed the value and here i have got the output so the team which have won by maximum run is mumbai indians as you can see and it has played against delhi daredevils it was a 2017 season match and mumbai indians was won by 146 run as i printed my output that is so mumbai indians is the team to win by maximum number of runs so we say that mumbai indians is the team with best batsman yeah we can surely say that so team won by maximum wicket now as we have found out the team having best batsman let's go to the team having best bowler from a, uh, using the analysis from our data set so i have used i loc here and do, and use the column win by wickets and dot id max give us the max number or the max element of that column and i have got the answer as kolkata night riders that so how i have got the answer as kolkata night riders as you can see here that i have taken out the value of the element of the winner column at that index that is kolkata night rider so we can say that k KKR, that is Kolkata Knight Rider, is a team which have won by maximum number of wicket. So let us see the team won by minimum runs. Here, as you can see, that I have again used the end of ILC and a column named win by run. And instead of using the dot, dot id max, I have used dot id main, which gives me the minimum number of runs by which a team has won. And using this gives me the winner team name that is mumbai indians so here we conclude that mumbai indians is a team which has won the ipl matches by maximum run as well as minimum run so team won by minimum wickets here we got the output so the team who won by minimum wickets was royal challenger bangalore and he played and the team has played match against mumbai indians and the toss winners was rcb the season was bad and so on we have got all the rows value of that particular id so i've concluded out here that's royal challenger bangalore is the team which have won by minimum wickets so what the thing we observed the first thing we observed that mumbai indians is a team which won by maximum and minimum runs secondly royal challenger bangalore is the team which won by minimum wicket and at third KKR that is Kolkata Knight Riders is the team which won by maximum wicket. Season which had season which had most number of matches. Let us find out that which season has most number of matches. This can be simply done using SNS dot count plot and x is equal to season. That is x axis will be season and data we would be using is DF. Here note that DF is a variable which is storing our data set and PLT dot so so use us to show. the or to visually represent our data which we are which you want to represent here you can see that longest bar is of 2013 year that means in 2013 the maximum number of matches was played and here i have written it so in 2013 have maximum number of matches to suggest then let us come to our main aim of our project that is to suggest a team or player a company should endorse for its product so best team company should endorse so df winner here i have got the column uh, data that is a winner column then i have used dot value com which what it would do that it would fetch all the unique element in that particular column and sum of all that unique element will be present on the opposite side here you can see mumbai indians has 109 as its value because on a, because mumbai in indians has won 109 match according to our data set and similarly for csk kkr and so on so i have renamed it as number of matches because and made it more properly so that we can visualize it and <coughs> here you can see that i have renamed the column as number of matches won and you can see the output as a data frame now we can see mumbai indians is a team that with most of the wins so we can say mumbai indians is the best team a company should endorse for its product 
now let us see using th this out this analysis using visualization here team list i have taken a variable which contains all the team names and two list converts this column to a list matches one list this variable contains the number of matches won by a team and it also contains the value in the form of list that is i have used this data frame and taken the value of number of matches won as a list <coughs> in matches won list then i have plotted this graph as a bar plot and as you can see that mumbai indians bar is the longest and it's above 100 similarly for csk kkr royal challenger bangalore and so on so top player of the match winner so here i have used top player tf dot player of the match dot value count here this give, will give me the top 10 player who has won the man of the match or player of the match title most number of time here i have virtually represented my analysis and we can see that chris scale is the player who has won the maximum number of time who has won player of the match maximum number of time so we can say that chris gale is the most successful player in all matches so we can say that a company should endorse him for their ad thank you hope you like the project you will find the project link in, in the github in the description thank you for more, for more for more machine learning video please subscribe our channel